Hey, David. Hey. <laughs> How's it going today? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we're here to talk about the new cards from Rabbit Allegiance. That if the, the entire spoiler is out now. Everything's ready for pre-order on Heritage.com right now. Everything's been priced out. Uh, the first card I want to talk about is Iron Speaker Vanifar. I think he's really exciting in both Commander, um, where he clearly is he's where all Commander players, I've been talking to a bunch of people are interested in building decks with him already. And uh, I mean, you might see some fringe play in Modern, in Maybe not in tier one decks, but if people are going to try to do some broken things with him. I'm not sure if he's going to see standard play, but definitely for Commander, he's like super exciting. People are going to find ways to abuse him. I, mean, I know like one of my one of my favorite ways to do broken things with him, I think it's going to be Intruder, Al- Intruder Alarm, which is uh, an enchantment that costs one blue and two, and it says whenever you whenever a creature comes into play, you untap all your creatures. There's a couple of other cards that are interesting to examine in those standard decks. Um, there's Korean Ranger, which is an old school favorite one, one of mine that's played in Elves and things like that. There's also a, kind of a newer version, the Scrib Ranger. Which is oh, yeah, the uh, that's the one from uh, Iron Spiral. Time Spiral, yeah. But you can only do that one once a turn as well, right? Yeah, you can only do it once a turn, but because you're untapping Prime Speaker Vatifier and you're sacrificing a creature, you get another one that comes into play. There's also. Hornbite Staff, which is a pretty interesting one that many players have been using. Those are all like interesting things, but even without untapping him and abusing in ways like that, there's also just the fact that he's just a very good, you know, Birthing Pod type tutor card that you can use to toolbox your deck and do broken things. Fair enough. Alright, so let's go on to the next card, which is... Uh, Tesa Karlov. Um, one of the first applications, and I don't know if this is going to be in standard, but it's definitely something that also, again, it's a commander played card, I believe. Um, it's going to be with Alenda Dusk Rose, which was one of the cards that people have always liked, and now it gets much, much better with Ace of Karlov. So, what happens is with Ace of Karlov, anytime one of your creatures dies, you get to put two counter on Alenda Dusk Rose because ah, of that. Okay. And then when Alenda dies, you get to put two, like double the amount of 1 1 lifelink token into play. So it affects both abilities. Also Lenda's lifelink, uh, which is relevant. For limited, it's definitely going to be a good card at its base. It's 2-4, it's got an ability. Um, there's also Afterlife, which is in this set, which says when creature dies, you create a 1-1 one, one lifelink flying token. So yeah. now you're going to create two tokens, which, you know, it's not broken, but it's, it's definitely like a good card. Yeah. I'm going to be happy with first pick. The next card we are talking about is... Uh, Judith Discord Diva. Uh, Judith is one black, one red, and one colorless. It's a 2 2 legendary creature. Mm-hmm. And it says all other creatures get plus one plus zero. So right away it pumps all your other creatures. And it also says whenever a non token creature dies, that whenever a non token creature you control dies, you get to do one damage to any target. One, one thing that's nice about Judith is that. It's a legendary creature, which in the past, you, you know, you don't want to run too many legends in your standard deck. But the thing that's nice about her is that even if you draw more than one and they're stuck in your hand, your opponent's not killing it, or you can always just play your Judith and then it's going to, with the legend rule, it's going to die. But because it dies, it triggers one Judith to do one damage and it triggers the one that's also dying. So you get to do, it's not, it's not perfect, but for three mana, you get to do two damage anywhere, which comes in handy when you have an extra copy in your yeah. Judith, she's obviously probably in your high pitch for limited as well. Yeah, it's a very good limited card. Um, a lord. Yeah, things, like, pumps all your creatures yeah. for three mana. It's, it's, yeah. The ability to ping any target is very valuable in limited. Oh, for sure. It'll also help you, like, you're basically, if you have a 1 1 creature and your opponent attacks, um, so now it's got two, it's 2 1 because of Judith. And then when it dies, it also deals one damage. So like you effectively can trade your one one token for three toughness creatures. I think it's definitely one of those cards that have a lot of flexibility when you're uh, playing either uh, the long or the short game. Yeah, exactly. I, I think in, it's a very versatile card and one that I'm, I'm going to be happy to start building decks around. So next we have uh, this is a, actually a common as uh, Curia Critic. So it's a sorcery. It costs three mana and it deals three damage to any target, mm-hmm. but it has Spectacle, which is for one red mana, which says that your opponent lost life in any way, whether combat or they dealt 
spell damage themselves during your turn or something, but you get to play it for one red. So basically lightning bolts in, a, in standard, we have um, Wizard's Lightning, Spirit of Calyx, and uh, Lightning Strike, which is two mana. It's, you know, it's not one mana, but it's, yeah. it's a card that you're going to run in all your aggressive red decks, basically, and it's it gives a chance to bur- to build some sort of burn deck in standard. I don't know which way exactly it's going to go, but... Well, I, safest bet is always counter burn. Yeah, for a counter burn or some sort of creature aggro with chain roller and things like that. Yeah, it, I think this card might actually break into modern also. It's it's got the power level if you it, in modern burn to get there. I'm not sure, but people are going to try it for sure. It's definitely on the power level, strong enough, uh, whether... It, the fact that it's only a sorcery might hurt Spirit of Critics, but time will tell. I think it's just a very, very powerful card. Uh, I think if you, I think if you're you have the ability to like just deal nine out of nowhere, yeah, because you can be like full full. I think I think seeing, seeing a twelve, uh, well, yeah, twelve bolt uh, deck in standard is probably yeah pretty accurate at this point, especially with so much uh, with how creature heavy the formats are. And let's be realistic, Phoenix is everywhere. Yeah, so, you exactly. Know, and it's only a three-two that dies. To, that it dies, dies to and then you have to play three more spells to get yeah. it back. The final card that I want to talk about is perhaps my favorite card in the set. Um, time will tell, but it's called Rogue Chamber Guardian. Oh, that thing. Yeah. So at first, when you read it, it seems it doesn't seem like that exciting. It seems pretty innocent. Actually. Yeah, it's, it's a two mana, crabby. It's a bear. It's a two-two for two mana. But it has the adapt for three for one green and two, where he gets plus two plus one plus encounter, so it becomes a four four. Yeah. Red relatively cheaply. You can play on turn two and then you have the threat. Even if you don't activate it, you're attacking. It's not like you can trade right away because you have two mana untapped and you have the ability to you at least threatening to activate. When you put a plus one plus one counter or more on real chamber guardian, you get to search for another copy of, of him and put it in your hand. If you have extra mana at the end of your opponent's turn, um whether you know you were holding up mana to cast chemistry's insight or um, thrilled the new the new mystic snake thrilled mystic I think mm-hmm. it's, it's called the three two flash that when it comes to play you counter a spell yeah so you leave the mana up you're like if you play a spell I'm gonna counter it and if they don't then you just activate the adapt from the thrill chamber and you just go get another one and now you have a four four and you have more people if I had to pick one card that I feel like is is gonna have like a major major impact. It, it would be this, this card. This card? Yeah. Okay. And is that, only, that's in standard? Uh, yeah, in, in standard. Okay. It's how, in standard, I think this is like this super strong. Yeah, exactly. Right. I don't think it's going to make a push in any other format right now. It's very yeah. standard. It's very like built for standard, I feel like. What the yeah. card is for. In limited, it's it's just a bear that has an ability. It's a good card. If you somehow get more than one limited, you know, kudos to you. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for uh what was this five cards? Yeah, the, my my five cards that I found interesting and right. that I thought we were gonna see some play in, in various formats, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, so uh until next time, this is the Harry we're at the Harry Tarantula. Uh my name is Richard and this is David. Alright. Thank you. See ya.